At the turn of the century, Kenosha, Wisconsin, formerly known as Southport, was a bustling city of commerce, industry, and transportation. At the center of this was the Simmons Mattress Company, founded by Zalman Simmons. Simmons began his time in Kenosha as a clerk in a dry goods store in 1849 and bought the store from the owner two years later. By 1858, Simmons had become the president of the First National Bank of Kenosha. While maintaining his work in telegraphs, railroads, and banking, Salman Simmons opened a cheese box factory, which he converted to produce a new invention, box spring mattresses. Simmons also served as president of the Kenosha, Rockford, and Rock Island Railroad, state assemblyman, and mayor of Kenosha. In 1890, Salman Simmons' eldest son, Gilbert, died of pneumonia at age 38. Simmons gave serious thought on how to best commemorate his beloved son. Soon after, Simmons met architect Daniel H. Burnham at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. Burnham was the fair's architectural director and one of the most famous architects of his day. His work on the 1893 Columbian Exposition inspired the neoclassical revolution in public building architecture across America. Enamored of the style, Zalman Simmons and Burnham talked about designing a library for Kenosha, quote, of sufficient size to hold over 30,000 volumes, materials to be used, stone, steel, and hardwood made fireproof, unquote. In 1899, the city of Kenosha was offered the library. Salman Simmons gave the funds to build the library and buy all the books and furnishings, with four requirements. That the city of Kenosha would levy a tax to support the library. Any remaining funds would be used to purchase books. The library would open at least six hours every day. And the library be named the Gilbert M. Simmons Memorial Library after his son. The city agreed and the work began in Central Park, later to be renamed Library Park. No expense was spared, and all the finest craftsmen and materials were utilized. A temporary railroad spur was built down 60th Street to Library Park to deliver the materials. Gilbert M. Simmons Memorial Library is a fine example of neoclassical design meant to inspire lofty ideas Neoclassical architecture is characterized by grandeur of scale, simplicity of geometric forms, Greek and Roman detail, dramatic use of columns, and a preference for blank walls. The perfect symmetry, ionic columns, and laurel wreaths in the Simmons Library sit firmly in the Grecian classic style. The exterior walls of the building are made of 18-inch thick limestone blocks brought in from quarries in Bedford, Indiana. Marble was brought from Italy. Mosaics were made with gold pressed between layers of glass to represent knowledge and learning. Themes seen within the building were carried into the furniture. The doors of the Gilbert M. Simmons Memorial Library opened on May 30, 1900 and the library was added to the National Registry of Historic Places on December 17, 1974. For more than a century, Kenoshans have relied on the library to learn about themselves, their community, and even the world. One thing is for sure, the Simmons Library continues to bring joy to each and every patron that steps through the doors of this important Kenosha landmark.